What is up, YouTube? Janky Yu-Gi-Oh! here. My name is Michael, and today we're playing Artific Artifacts and Trap Tricks. That's a classic pairing. And so, yeah. We're gonna get Morello. Or Mello. Yeah, we're gonna... Get this. Get the bo good old-fashioned bottomless. Link summon into Sarah. We're gonna set this. And this. And then we're going to end the turn. It's not the greatest play in the world, but it is what it is. And we can make a rank 4 next turn too. Ah, tunes! Oh no, tunes, actually. Destroy our back row. Yeah, that's rough, dude. Mm. That's alright, though. We can come back from that or play out of it. So what we're going to do is, we're going to summon Dionia, and Dionia is going to activate her effect, we're going to target Marmelio. Marmelio is going to summon, or activate, we're going to destroy Toon Kingdom, because the deck can't function without the Toon Worlds. And then, let's get a Floodgate Trap Hole right from our deck. Um... Go battle and attack. And we'll do it again. And then we're gonna make Reflusia here, I think. I think this is the best play. And then after that, we're gonna set this and pass. So our opponent knows about the floodgate. They know that we have another trap uh, hole here. They don't know exactly what the Twin Twisters is. Oh, okay, they surrendered. Uh, unfortunately, our opponent was playing a very... Let's offer a rematch. Our opponent was playing a very uh, janky tune deck. Oh, they accepted. Okay, cool. Let's use uh, Marmelio. Use this effect. Uh, let's get Floodgate. Since we know they're playing tunes... Then we're gonna make this. This is a standard play. Uh, we're not gonna commit as hard since we know they have a uh, lightning storm, so we're not gonna set three. We're gonna set two instead. Okay. That's fine. can't attack this turn, but it can still summon more tunes. So I'm just wondering what our opponent's going to do. I guess there's an argument to floodgate that, but I, I don't think I really cared enough to be honest. You know, what we can do next turn is, uh, if one of these get into the graveyard somehow, we can play this and activate it, and set two from our deck. Okay, they lost connection. 
Yeah, well, I tried to play a best two out of three for them. Anyway, let's look at the deck list. So we're playing three Scythe because it stops our opponent from the extra deck, three Moral Tack because it pops the card, and then we play Trap Tricks just in general. We're only playing two Diana, even though it's kind of the Wolf Bark for the deck, or the Altair as a new... And then we're playing the Searchers, and that's about it. Then we're playing these. This this is our draw engine. Um, Pot of Duality is just kind of in here. I guess Pot of Extravagance could be an argument and all that, but I kind of like the uh, monsters in my extra deck, but also I'm not sure if it really matters. Uh, three Ignition, because why not? Because uh, it's part of the artifact package. Uh, we're playing two Twin Twisters just because it blows up our own artifacts when we draw them. Uh, we're playing three Sanctum, and then for because it summons these out from the deck to disrupt our opponent. Then we're playing Time Space, Bottomless. Uh, we're playing three of these, and three of these because this card's pretty good, and two of these as well. Uh, maybe there's an argument to play three of these and then less of these and probably less of these, but honestly. I think this is fine. Um, uh, so that's our trap hole package for our trap tricks. Uh, Pleiades, because we are running, because the artifacts are lights. Uh, playing Durandal, because Durandal is actually a pretty good card. It changes uh, the effect to destroy a smaller trap card instead. So, like, if we had, um, if we had Durandal out when our opponent lightning stormed us, we could have forced it instead of a. Uh, Instead of it being a Farby's Feather Duster, it would be, you know, an MST, <laughs> which isn't, it's still not great for us, but it's a lot better than get, than getting all of that wiped. Uh, three of this card, because the special summons them back from the graveyard, and, you know, the good ones have uh, effects when they're special summoned, or just good effects in general. This one destroys a card, this one gets one of your uh, trap cards when it's, you know, uh, if you're, if it's special summoned from the graveyard uh, back, but then you banish the whole trap, the trap hole when you're, uh, when it goes away. Uh, this card also kind of has relevancy, um, as you can bounce a set and then put one down if you want, and then this one also lets you get them from your deck and your graveyard and all that so summoning this back isn't that bad either so that's why this is in the deck also it like wants to leave the field and is now in the graveyard or banished uh because of your card effect you can detach material summon it to your field so yeah so when you use one of your trap holes except for time space or well when you use basically uh bottomless Trapple Nightmare. Those two, basically. Um, when you use these two, these, uh, these two right here, you can get their monsters. Also, uh, you can get it with a Moral Attack as well, so that's more synergy with the artifacts. Tornado Dragon, it's alright. Um, realistically, this could probably be something else. Baguska, because we don't need our monster effects um, every turn. We just need our... Uh, trap cards really to be enough to slow down our opponent we got Dagusto Emerald we got three of Flusia, three Sarah. alright good things about this deck it can it's pretty good at locking out your opponent it or if your opponent doesn't have the cards to really play out of it or anything like that it can be really annoying to play out of uh, Scythe and Moral Attack are still okay disruptions because Moral Attack doesn't target so you just get to destroy any face-up card your opponent controls if it can be destroyed. Um, good thing about Sanctum as well is if they do destroy this and everything, you get to destroy a card on the field. The downside is you can't conduct your battle phase, but you're not going to be activating it during your turn anyway. So that doesn't really matter. Uh, Artifact Ignition, if they blow this up, they get to skip their battle phase, so they are playing spell and trap card disruption. Uh, there is some downside. That's kind of why you mix artifacts and trap tricks together, because trap tricks don't want their trap holes to be blown up, but artifacts don't mind if they're blown up. So if they harpies feather duster you or they lightning storm you while you have 
your artifacts. It's just gonna it's gonna end up pretty rough for them, uh, for the most part. So that's the basic idea behind the deck. Anyway, uh, ways you can improve this deck if you wanted to make it a little bit more competitive, you'd probably cut down on uh, the twin twisters or move those to the side. Uh, maybe move the ignitions to the side. Uh, you would probably only play uh, one of these two, maybe one of these two. Um, these could probably be replaced with Pot of Extravagance. Uh, you would probably cut these down um, and end up playing like Trap Trick. I didn't play Trap Trick because I just didn't really feel like it. Uh, Card Demise is okay at, in this deck at best, but you know, it it is what it is. So yeah, overall, um, this deck is still pretty fun to play if you like to stun your opponent. But that is it for today. If it is your birthday today, happy birthday. If you want to send me any cool deck profiles or replays, my email's in the description. Please do so. If you want to uh, tell me what deck I should play or what deck you think I should play in a casual duel series, go ahead and leave it down in the comment section below. I'm open to all kinds of uh, suggestions, so be sure to do so. And of course, and as always, have a wonderful day.